What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, uh, finally getting this red diffuser on with the third brake light. It's actually like a, like a gloss black, it's not the carbon fiber one that everybody gets. So I'll try to be different a little bit on this one. But um, yeah man, it's gonna look nice. All right, for this install, I just got some extra uh, lock, what was it, uh, screws with locking nuts, um, T-taps. You can pick this up at literally anywhere. You could go to either uh, Home Depot. I got these at AutoZone, three bucks at AutoZone. They come with four. We're only tapping into three wires today, so that should be more than enough. Um, extra 3M tape from AutoZone himself too. Those are the ones that I came with. I feel that this is a little too thin for the application. And you know, I probably could still, still gonna use this just for a little bit of extra security. Yeah, so these are the screws that it came with, these black screws. I might use these too, I don't know. But um, I think I'm a little bit more safer with these locking nuts. And then this, I thought, honestly, when I saw this in the box, I thought this was extra uh, wire, but no, this is like a, um, a weather strip to go around the edges so it doesn't get any kind of you know, water elements, dust, dirt, all that stuff. So that was actually pretty cool that they sent this up too. So yeah, man, all of this should be enough to get this job done today. I'm gonna take y'all along with me to get it installed over there. Let's go. First things first though, I need to wash Bay. She's very dirty right now. I haven't washed it since this rain in Florida here. So I'm gonna get her washed up, get that bumper nice and cleaned up. You don't want any kind of dirt or nothing to, you know, be on there while you're trying to install this because then this, it will it won't stick to the bumper properly. So clean your car first. Let's get this going. This is the diffuser, the third work light, the wiring here. Nice gloss black. Someone hit me up on offer up to waste my time. But uh, yeah, these are the wires that we have to use to tap into. So red with red, red is gonna be with red, um, black with black obviously, and then the yellow too two different um i don't know suggestions they say to tap into one one person is saying to tap into the yellow the yellow with the lime green and then someone else is saying yellow with purple so i have no idea what we're gonna find out all right y'all so i just finally cleaned it down um i'm gonna still wipe down the area that we're gonna be installing it a little bit more first thing we're gonna do come in the trunk here lift up or remove your uh, spare tire if you have a spare tire, but I don't. So you're gonna have that foam thing. And then lift this up a little bit, and you'll see this black grommet. This is when you wanna feed the wire through so we could run up here and to the passenger brake light to tap into. So yeah, let's do that right now. All right, so this is how you run the grommet. This is how it's gonna sit in the car. This is the top part when you open the trunk. This is the top part you're gonna see. And from the bottom, this is when you'll push it through. So when we install it, we're gonna put the grommet back in there and then run the wire back up here. And secondly, you wanna clean the edge of this plastic so that it, it would adhere properly to the bumper. I just use this uh, wireless car wash from Chemical Guys. <clears throat> Obviously with a nice clean microfiber cloth. I'm gonna use that to clean the bumper too. And then next, we're gonna start putting 3M tape all around here on the top, on the sides. And then figure out where we're gonna try to drill these holes for the bottom side. All right, so you start running the tape like this. Hold down the edge. I'm gonna go back over this to make sure you don't know, just push it to the side. Don't worry if it doesn't get, you know, perfect on there. When you put it on there and it, it heats up, when the sun heats it up, it's gonna spread. <clears throat> and now this part here, it does have to cut out for the tow hook on the truck on the back bumper, so we have to cut here and then keep the tape going all the way around.
I'ma hop to the beat. Alright guys, so it's been about a little over a week now since I installed this um, this uh, radio freezer with the brick light from eBay. Um, link will be down in the description below if you want to buy this same exact one. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with it, especially for the price point. It already went through a couple days of rain and a car wash and still holding up uh, very very well. So, you know, big thumbs up for this diffuser man. And actually, I'm pretty glad it came with this little cutout right here because I made it like 10 times easier to actually line up the whole bomb. Because once you line that up, the whole thing is lined up. So, you know, sit it <clears throat> as close to the bottom edge here as possible before you press in. And, you know, I basically got it pretty perfect. So when you're laying this tape, make sure you are keeping it as close to the edge here as possible when you're laying it down. Um, you know to keep it in obviously cut this part out here so you can have this part for tow hook and then keep the tape going all the way across I had one problem here where this the gap was a lot worse than this before the reason why this had a gap is because I had the tape sitting too far below here and it wasn't making full contact with the bumper itself so it had enough space where I took the tape that it came with the skinnier one what I did was make sure it was clean as possible, enough where I could, you know, get get the tape to come in contact with the bumper and the diffuser itself. Um, you know, peeled this back, fished it down there, literally just pushing it down like that, and then pressing the hole in for a couple minutes. While the car is hot too, like while while you know I live in Florida, so these freaking cars get hot. So I just did that. It has a slight gap, but. It's nothing you know too crazy as long as it's holding onto the bumper that's all i care about you know right there you're not gonna see anything when you're making it when you look at it from you know. and for bolts i did not put any bolts on the top because i hate that look i don't want to drill into the top bumper so all i did was <clears throat> put one bolt right here at the edge next to the tail to the exhaust pipe have another one right here another one right here i need to add another one over here you can see that and then got one right here and then i'll see on the other side of the bumper on that corner there part two i have another one there just to secure it just realized that i did not show you the actual harness to the car that you're connecting to so you're gonna come to the rear right tail light passenger tail light you're gonna pull this back obviously you're gonna take all this apart pull it out and um you're gonna come here now this is the wire that you want to connect to but it's not this actual white connector you're connecting to the bottom right there where this white connection is that's where you want to connect it 
I wired it like that because I want it to only come on when my headlights are on at night. During the day, I could care less if it's on or not. And um, it doesn't flash. I didn't, li didn't like the whole flash feature, so I just wanted to be remain constant. Basically like a rear fog light, kind of. So that's how I wired it. I like it like that. And you can see the connections right down there in the light in the blue connections right down there. But yeah, man. Not too hard. And especially if you're new to wiring, it makes it a lot easier to, you know, get done real quick. Alright? So that's that. But yeah, man, this this diffuser is, is worth the money. If you want to spend that $500, just go buy yourself one of those. I do believe they have a carbon fiber version. But if you have a real carbon fiber in your car, and then you get a fake, you know, carbon fiber part, you, you're going to tell the difference and it's going to irritate you. Well, it's going to irritate me, so that's why I didn't do it. So yeah, I might definitely get um four four and a half inch tips, uh, burnt tips. Push this push this exhaust a little further out because I don't want this to burn up. And um, yeah, man, she's coming along nicely. You know, there's the top view of it right there. You see the tape holding up pretty well. You know, slight gap right here, but that's you know that's because it's a corner piece to hug the bumper. But I do have the bolt right here sitting right under here, so. As long as you bolt this part up right here and then the other side the same side, you'll be alright. And then um honestly I think you just need just two, you know, screws. I should do one on this side, one on that side. You know, make it even. Try to make it as even as possible. But uh yeah man. She's a little dusty right now, but I'm gonna try to wash her off a little later. But again, thank y'all for watching this video. Um stay tuned for more car car part installs. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. More videos with the 3.7 Q50. I got a, uh, I got a couple other friends with Q50s and one with the manual G37 that's gonna be on this channel soon too. And I will be showing you guys this car in the next video. If you know me personally, you already know what car this is, but this is gonna be a second car to the channel. It's not an everyday car, so that's gonna be some fun content with this car. Again, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.